Hello everyone. Well, I'm excited to talk to you today about a cool visualization, ultimately. I've been working on learning Morse code for a little less than a year. Specifically, I've been learning for about 10 months. I started in December 2017, and initially I started out on my own. And once I knew all the characters, I started using a program called just learn Morse code. And this program is quite flexible. It allows you to learn either using the Farnsworth method or the Coke method. The Coke method, the idea behind it is that you want to start out at full speed, quote unquote. Um, ideally, you want to learn at a speed in which you hear the sound pattern that typically is 20 words a minute and it's really fast. Um, just starting out. In fact, it, it can be overwhelming. With Coke method, the idea is that you start out right away um, at full speed, but you only learn two characters to start with. And once you can handle two characters, then you add another character. And eventually, um, with persistence, you are able to recognize all the letters, all the numbers, all the pro signs, the alternative is the Farnsworth method, and that's the method that I chose. The idea behind it is that you still need to hear the sound pattern. And to, for me, that meant that I needed to learn the characters at a speed of uh, at least uh, 30 words a minute. The going advice is that if you can count the dits and daws, you need to go faster because it's, if you can count it, you will. It's just irresistible. <clears throat> and for whatever reason, I could count it's 20 words a minute, which is where most people start. So initially I started out with a, a speed of, um, at a low speed of 10 words a minute, but a character speed of, of 30 words a minute. Just give you a quick sample. So you see that there's a lot of space between those characters, and that's immensely helpful. But eventually, you have to get off Farnsworth timing. It took me a little more than a couple of months, but by the end of February, um, I was able to switch to a standard uh, 15 words a minute. And from there, it was just a matter of putting in the time to become more proficient, gain a higher accuracy, and then also to um, push myself in terms of the speed that I could handle. And I generated a lot of data, which I'll show you. So lots and lots and lots of data. Um, <clears throat> and specifically for the Just Learn More's code program, I made an an entry that looks more or less like this, random words, because that's what it's sending, the length of time, the speed, and then if I practice multiple times in a row using those same settings, I would record my proficiency. And when you use Just Learn Morse code, so I'm not warmed up, so, but I'll show you a few seconds of practice. Okay, so at the end of the day, after your time run, it gives you a nice little breakdown in terms of your overall accuracy. And that is what I'm recording and have recorded for the last 10 months. So there's a lot of data in here and I wanted to be able to visualize and see how I've been progressing, maybe get an idea on um, when I'll meet my, my goal of, well, ultimately I want to be able to head copy at 30 words a minute, meaning that without typing it or writing it down, I can just directly be able to hear it and know what's being sent. 
and that's a little bit of a different skill than just simply um, typing it as you hear it. Um, for whatever reason, the um, what do you call it? The muscle memory is a little bit easier to form than the character recognition. Just hearing it, seeing that in your mind's eye, a little bit harder. But I am making progress. But <clears throat> for today, I'm just interested in looking at all the data, the standard timing data, and there are 608 data points. However, because the data was pretty noisy initially, I wanted to just show my best for a given day and a given speed um, to help isolate and help make sense of, of the data. So I'm going to show you initially to process the data into something that I could uh, further refine and, and visualize. Um, I'm, a, I'm a software developer by profession, very proficient in Java, but recently started learning Python because I'm interested in data analytics. And so um, tried my hand at it, and this little application simply takes in that, that document and produces a CSV file that more or less looks like this at the bottom of the screen here. Just the number of days since I started practicing, the speed in words per minute, and my proficiency. So there's a lot of filtering going on and data cleanup. But once I have that, then I'm able to pull that data into um, a different language. In this case, we're looking at R Studio, and it <clears throat> makes use of the R language, which is used by statisticians and data scientists and other people who are interested in, in working with data. And while Python is certainly capable of displaying the same thing, I'm just not proficient at this time to create these kinds of visualizations in Python. Um, but before I break down this, this graph, I wanted to show you what it looked like initially. So initially, we can see that in the y-axis is the percent correct. So the axis ranges from a low of 55% to as high as 95. And then we can see the, the words per minute. Um, it perhaps is, doesn't quite meet your expectations, but it helps to actually visualize it this way. The words per minute um, increases as it moves towards us along this axis. And then the days, same thing. Um, its time is moving to the left, which is a little atypical. But you can generally see, maybe rotatable, notice that the axis switched here <clears throat> between days and words per minute, that as time progressed, I was able to handle a higher speed and at a higher accuracy. It's still a little hard to tell, so I further refined this into this plot. So I'm going to turn it a little. So just note that still on the y-axis is the accuracy percent correct and then we have the time moving away from us so from 50 days out to 250 ish and then we have the speed from 15 words a minute to around 40. So the first thing to notice is that I've added some 
I've highlighted the all the rods at 24 words a minute in orange and I've added a regression line not a linear regression line but it's just a single order polynomial and we can see that over time I would get better but then there was a drop off primarily because I haven't been practicing quite as much at a lower speed um, but you can see in red 30 words a minute has consistently increased and even um, beyond that in the green we have a range of 32 34 words a minute and early on I made attempts at at copying at these very high speeds but man it was just a blur and I could hardly recognize anything and you can see you know around day make sure I get this right at day 60 nope day 87 I achieved a score of 60% at 33 words a minute so it's not great at all but by pushing myself no matter how difficult I did make progress and you can see that I've started practicing at even higher speeds um, very recently I got 82 percent right at, at 36 words a minute um, and I've even made an attempt at 40 words a minute and very recently achieved 75 percent which seems amazing to me I just cannot describe what it feels like to copy at that speed but I can see that with practice I should be able to continue to get faster if I'm willing to put in the time and I may want to practice slower speeds that way I don't uh, lose some of my proficiency it probably wouldn't take much to to bring it back up and you'll notice that there's a, a band here that's missing that's because it's not that I stopped practicing during that period of time I was taking the CW Ops level 2 class it's a wonderful opportunity if you're interested in Morse code I highly recommend it but during this period of time <clears throat> we had a lot of homework assignments and um, we just did not make use of just learn Morse code lots of other kinds of cool and helpful practice including uh, head copying but during that period of time there is just no data if you're interested in uh, visualizing your own log, I'm certainly willing to uh, give you some advice, um, give you the R script that I used, um, or even the Python script. It won't. The Python script won't be that helpful since, oops, since it's very particular to how I've been recording data, and it's super unlikely that the way that you're recording data is similar I'm using for the visualization package I'm using a library called Plotly um, it's available on multiple platforms R, Python and others so anyway it's, it's really neat you can both do 2D and 3D Oops. <laughs> the funny thing of having a mighty mouse. It's a little too easy to uh, spin this plot around. Anyway, if you have any questions, I'm uh, more than willing to answer them. Um, thank you for your time. And I hope if you're working on learn learning Morse code, I wish you the best and perhaps one day we will work each other on the air.